So I've been in Japan for just over a week now. Um, I arrived in Fukuoka City last Wednesday uh, to study at Kyushu University for the next year. Um, Fukuoka City is this really nice, hustling, bustling city where there's a lot going on, and uh, I and fellow students were really excited to see what the city has to hold. However, it turns out our campus is about an hour away on public transport. Um, which basically means we are the furthest away from Fukuoka City and still being able to call ourselves in Fukuoka City. Um, however, the surrounding area is really nice. Um, there's a local town of Kurobara and also Imazu, which you have to walk through both of them in order to get to the local beach, which is only about a 20 minute walk and is really nice, has really warm water, and so swimming in it is just lovely. I just got back from a university trip where we went over the island to see the local area. So on the first day, we went to Ryumon Falls, which are these massive waterfalls. Um, which were pretty spectacular and the day was really nice and sunny so we were able to see them and we also had a local traditional lunch uh, just by the waterfalls um, which was really nice, that was made of like soba noodles and fried deep cold like fried chicken and a few vegetables on the side. After the waterfalls um, we went to Kokon Noe Yume Utsuibashi which is basically this massive suspension bridge that overlooked a valley and uh, spectacular, however, quite wobbly, so a bit unnerving as you're walking across it and you're suspended over the height of Godzilla. Um, I think it came to about 323 metres high and Godzilla was pitched about 100 metres high, so to give you some perspective. Um, there we had some ice cream and again it was sunny, so it was a really nice day to look around. We then spent the evening at a university-owned residential spot where we got to try onsen for the first time. The onsen was really hot and it was a really relaxing time just to sit back and relax after a pretty stressful week of arriving in Japan. The following day we went to the Kuju Flower Park, um, which is this really nice open vast space which is filled with flowers and it is meant to be glorious in the sunshine. However, when we went, it was pissing it down and we basically had to huddle under umbrellas to try and avoid the rain. We then went up to Dai Kambo, which is this kind of viewing point for Mount Aso, which is like the largest mountain on the island. And again, that should have been spectacular. However, we were surrounded in a layer of clouds and rain. So we could barely see in front of us, let alone the mountain. Um, however, it's pretty cool to see like the local area and stuff, despite it all being rainy and foggy. Um, we then eventually arrived back to Ito campus and yeah, that was a trip. Um, so yeah, in my first week being here, I've done quite a few things and I'm excited to see the rest of the island and see what Fukuoka holds. <laughs>